A customer calls me, says, I've got this walnut, could you cut it up? I say, sure, of course I can. Then he says, uh, also I've been watching your YouTube channel, and I thought that was pretty cool. This walnut is about 30, 32, some of these are 27. Very, very short one here that's only about 24 inches. And that's pretty short for the wood miser. So let's see how we can remedy the situation. So normally, you can fit anything on a wood miser that's about four foot long because it has to be able to fit, if you have the center supports, it has to be able to fit and grab onto those two center supports. In this case, we can't do that. And so, what we're gonna do is make a quick and easy fixture, and hopefully this will work, to cut smaller stock. And all you need is a board. Uh, this is a two by four. And the longer, the better. You want it to be able to still fit in between these two spots. And here's, here's the disclaimer with this. You really can't cut something an inch thick doing it like this because your side supports have to be up high enough to grab your board. So that's gonna be about three and a half inches if you wanna be grabbing this board all the way completely well. And then you're gonna want some other kind of board. This is just some half inch plywood as a support to actually set it on. And it doesn't really matter what you do with this. It doesn't matter how big your piece is. The two things of course are uh, you don't want this to break, and so if you're putting something really heavy on there that's shorter, then you're going to want something much heavier to hold it on there. And that could be any number of things. It could be steel, could be thicker wood or something like that. But looking at this, uh, hopefully you get the concept. We've got a fence, and then we've got uh, a platform to set it on. And it's really as simple as that. And I actually might switch to something a, bit, a little bit longer and beefier than what this is by the time that we start cutting everything. So here's what we're gonna do with that walnut you saw. Every one of those is gonna get cut in half. And then there's a special, a very special piece of burl that you're gonna see cut in this video. And you're gonna see some of uh, Creation's wonders happen when we cut through that. So let's get to it. Now, if this already fits on these, then you're good to go. Don't have to worry about this, obviously. But if it's shorter, then use the platform. So you see the concept there. Pretty easy, huh? Here's the results of creating a quick little jig to saw up a bunch of short walnut logs in half. And I know some of you want to see the grain of these walnut logs. There's a couple here, a special mention. If you can see this here, that's what we call crotch figure. And then this one on the end too. Obviously there's two sides of this, so Looks pretty cool, huh? Well, we got one more thing to do yet in this video, and let's get to that. Well, this could be something special right here. This is a burl, is what we call it, when a tree grows fairly abnormally, and all kinds of weird stuff happens. <laughs> it's about the best way I can explain that. So, sometimes burls are crap shoots because they could be really, really beautiful, or they could be full of all kinds of voids and inclusions and things like that. Can you guess what kind of burl this is? Well, after I cut it, I'm gonna tell you. So let's use the same method for cutting the short stock and see what kind of beauty creation has in store for us today.
Well, did you guess correctly looking at this? Maple burl is what we have. Sometimes it's hard to tell when you're just looking at the outside, especially of a burl, what kind of tree it is. See that beautiful figure that's in there? Hopefully you can see all of that. See all that nice ribbon? Some people call it fiddleback figured maple. It's going on in there. All right, so all I have left to do with this one is the customers requested that I cut it in three inch thick sections for bowl turning. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and finish up this project. Let's look at the grain of this maple. Look, movie magic, it's all cut. Look at this beautiful wood that we have right here. Look at that. This is a little burl cap that was on the end. See how that awesome figure has got some bluing in there, a little bit of that streaking, mineral streaking we call that. There's some more beautiful wood. Sometimes, like I said, in burls, you do get these inclusions and things like that in it. Don't know till you open it up. And look at all of this. Mm -mm -mm. Wonderful. And there's another one. This is uh, another kind of an end cap piece. Three inches thick. All this is around three inches or a little bit greater than three inches at the customer's request. And then there's probably the biggest one of the bunch. Yeah, this burrow was heavy. Getting it up there. Used a lot of leverage. A little bit of good old fashioned elbow grease and back muscle. We got it all done. Whenever you find a burl, there's always a little bit of that wooden gold in there. Well everyone, that is the conclusion of another video. I hope you like what you've seen. If you have and you're a new viewer to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go and check out all of my other sawmill and woodworking videos. We're not here to become famous, but we are here to work hard and to show that hard work pays off. So if those are things that you're into, you might like my channel. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. God bless you all.